I should get back to it. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning? Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box. Try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. What am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I, I won't lie to you. Oh, Miss Roberts. I know. Where, where am I gonna go? Stay here with us. <laughs> Folk, they ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. You'll be safe here. <laughs> At least for now. Till you're back on your feet properly. Thank you. Of course. Is there somewhere we can take her? I don't think she has. You can stay with us as long as you want. Thank you. Good morning, Uncle Arthur. Hello. You're a good kid. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Bye-bye. There she is. Hey. What have you been up to, Arthur? You look odd. You want to talk? I don't know. I just don't feel myself. Been out a lot. Sure. Anything fun? I've been bad. I've been killing animals just for the hell of it. That's it. Well, I've also killed a bunch of innocent folk. I don't know why. What's wrong with you, Arthur? I just get so angry about everything, about how this is going to end. Well, it'll only end well if you keep your mind, Arthur. We need you. I know. Thank you. 
Hey, all good out here? I think so, but... Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. I'll bet Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, nah, the Kaiserreich. I don't ja? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's a very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No. Nie, nie. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. What you got behind there? So, przepraszam, nie nie rozumiem. Move aside. Prosakom nie można ufać. Amerykańskim też. What do we have here? Moja obrączka, nie. Just keep quiet. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. The longer I look, the madder I get. I need, I must eat, Prosho. Okay, that should about cover things.
Arthur, dumbass. Don't irritate me, boy. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again. If you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Hi. Hey. You okay? I'm bored. Well? Go find some mischief to get up to. Uh-huh. Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Karen. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I should be getting on. See ya, Arthur. Any problems, you shout out, Lenny.
Ser el último. Damn good shooting, señor. Thank God for you, mister. Le debo la vida. Mr. Downs! Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please, please, show some compassion. Please. <coughs> Drowse told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? How's that dead looking now? <sighs> you borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of <gasps> charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman? My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money.
to keep everyone in line? I'm doing my best. Hey, Charles. You good? Marston. Hi. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. John was looking for you, Arthur. He's over by the tree behind the campfire. He was? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Ah, Miss Morgan. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? We've been thinking about our problem all wrong. All wrong. Okay, girl. I don't think you should just be wandering around here, friend. Not a thing happens round here without me. Right! No mercy for you!
What the hell? Come on. Yeah. Hold up there, mister. I'm just in a friendly mood today for some reason. That's good to hear. Yep. Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, get back here. You owe us money. God dang it. This map will take you to the money. Lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. Let's go, girl. Yeah.
Why's it always gotta be such a goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you... Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lessening damn money. Son of a bitch. Your money, leave me alone. Hey, you know what I do to What do you want? Here about this. I've got nothing. I didn't you. steal that, it's a debt. God damn it. Damn you stop right now. Get back here. You're just desperate to lose your teeth. Just shut up, damn it. All right, uh, then. Like it rough. <laughs> what in the world? Learn how to shoot, fella. Don't do this. Amoral northern scum. Interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage.
Come on, girl. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. How you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us. Given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, the lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. <laughs> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Don't follow me. Go around to the side of the house so no one sees you. My good man! My good young man. Fairly well, fairly well. <laughs> You know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here. You selling something, partner? Great. Spinal alignment. What? Spinal alignment. The Lord God Almighty. Oh, whomever built it. But our brain's in here, but our soul is in our back. Your, your back looks kind of tricky and complicated. Sure. I can fix that for you. Just 10 or 15 sessions. Which suits me fine. Which is, which is this cousin the problem? You ever meet a Scot who didn't hobble an old witch? But the English and Poles, sir. Gin! They drink gin. What does the juniper do? Cre 
That better? Just a bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a little bit better. Uh, uh. This session has been free, but perhaps I might call again. How much will it cost? I'm not giving you virility, and you're asking me about money, sir. You done, Arthur? Yep. Covered my tracks so well, they won't even know I was in there. Good work. Let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Yeah. What the hell's going on out here? Damn it, they're on to us. We need to get out of here. Slow down, you, you'll burn out the horses. Damn it, they must have spotted us riding out. Uh, I guess I should have tried leaving the back way. Too late now. So what were you able to lift from the house? You're gonna crash if you don't slow down. A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. You okay? This was easier than hunting a thousand-pound grizzly, anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. What are you doing? We gotta move. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. Slow it down a bit. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. So how long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Yep. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Thank you.
Hi there. Hello, Arthur. Don't work too hard. I work smart. Well done, Arthur. You found the Irish Terrier. <laughs> Sadly. He's just a younger version of you. Please don't say that to me, Dutch. <laughs> oh, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. All right, then. Thank you, girl. Hey! Hold up a sec. You in difficulty? Ah, can't be bothered. Mister. Evening, partner. Well, stay 
him hold All on. right, easy now. Uh, beating up half the saloon like that? Near killing Tommy out in the street? You've gone funny since then. Now just move on. Keep your opinions to yourself. You're next, okay? Don't fellers like you ever get bored of pushing folk around? Get your head out of your ass. Your friend had worse coming. I let him off easy. Leave me alone. Back off. Come on now, get moving, will you? Mister? Hey, mister. That's a heap of mud on you. Hey, partner! Get on you. Hello! Evening. Hello, mister. Don't hey, touch me. Somebody's had a few. Have a nice evening. Good evening. Evening. Hello, ladies. Well, hello, handsome. I am sweet. Hey, handsome. Looks like it could be a busy night. I hope you're doing well there, miss. You're the best. You'll be well and happy now. Just stay put and have a drink, all right? Hello, gentlemen. Well, look at you. <laughs> so, don't let me keep you. I, I am in a good mood for some reason. Good evening to you. Hello, sir. Evening. Evening. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Hello, sirs. Evening, okay, mister. there? No brawling this time, all right? You have to something more? Hey there, partner. Evening, sir. You're doing a great job. Ah. Keeping all us decent folks safe. Goodbye. We'll be here if you change your mind. Here's the kind soul I was telling you about. The one that, uh, got the venom out of your leg? <clears throat> mm -hmm. guess so. Listen, friend, I know I can never repay you, but... How about you head over to the like gunsmith and pick out your choice of item on my tab? Oh, huh. well, thanks. Yeah, seemed like the least I could do. With him being sent straight from the Almighty to save my life. Hey, yeah. what can I do for you? Better outside told me I could grab something on his tab. One with the bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. Well, take a look around. Find something you like, and I'll put it on his tab. Fine choice. I'll let him know. Bye now.
let the clerk know. Thanks again. Sure. Hey, mister. Hello. Uh-oh, mister. Hello. Give me hey, hey, hey there, Carmen. Give me another drink. What do you have? Before I sit right here in the bar. So that's how it was. Oh, Back in the day, Be careful. you know. We wouldn't merely Are you blind? Doors. Now I get a whiskey. Hey. Shit and everything. We Always didn't care. Having like one having for the know why? Because... Real men don't care where other men turn. And that's just a fact. The other side of it is, if you do care, you ain't no man at all. Annoying Get ladies, out, all you. Where you're going. You ain't Open men. your damn eyes. No, I fought 50 inches. You lot whine if a bear comes in your yard. If a bear comes in my yard, I eat him. I ate an engine once. Once ate a priest. All right. Well, I'm only offering. Said I was a heathen, so I showed him how much heathen I was. Grilled the old bastard right where the stockyards are now. Just <laughs> got ambushed over there at Six Point Cabin. Don't you just brighten up a girl's day? <laughs> you have an itch need scratching? You ain't men. None of ya. Hey, what the hell? Look at you. Y'all try and act feasible. The things you see in this place. Uh, it never ends around here. Well, that guy been drinking turpentine. That is something else. I, don't believe I thought I'd seen everything. Oh, boy. That's enough of that for today. Sure seen everything now. Let's finish this. That one will fluff past old scratch yourself. You know, man as stupid as you is mighty hard to read. Don't believe it, you succeed. At least don't raise your feller over there. Oh, hey, come on, we're we pointing that thing.
Hey there, mister. Need some? Calm down, we. Welcome to my shop. Have a look around. As long as you're not running away from anyone, they'll get the job done. You give that horse all the care it needs, okay? <laughs> 